Welcome back once again. So today we are going to see the Pythagorean triplets. How to find the Pythagorean triplets? We all know what are Pythagorean triplets. Pythagorean triplets are Pythagorean numbers which satisfy Pythagoras theorem. So what is Pythagoras theorem? The three numbers if you put as the sides of a right angled triangle then we will get hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the other two sides. Sum of the squares of other two sides. Okay. So if out of the three numbers if one number is given to you you have to find out the other two numbers which satisfies Pythagoras theorem they are called Pythagorean triplets so triplet means group of three numbers Pythagorean triplet means three numbers which satisfies Pythagoras theorem okay so we have two different methods to find out Pythagoras Pythagorean triplets the first method is when the given number is odd number what formula we will use and the second method is when the given number is even number what formula we will use to find the Pythagorean triplets if the given number is an even number we have to use this formula and if the given number is an odd number we have to use this formula this is Pythagorean triplets to find the Pythagorean triplets okay so for example let us go like this suppose the given number is number 7 and you need to find out the other two numbers how to do that the given number is number 7 so number 7 is a odd number so we will use this formula so let us take this way given number is number 7 number is equal to 7 which is odd number so it's a triplet so triplet means group of three numbers so we have to find out the other two numbers so to find out that the given number if it is odd put it in this fashion c square is equal to a plus b that is c means the given number c square 7 square is equal to a plus b and 1 is equal to a minus b so 7 square is what 49 so a plus b a plus b is equal to 49 and a minus b is equal to 1 if i add both a plus a i'll get 2a and b and b get cancelled here i got 50 so 2a is equal to 50 that means i got a is equal to 25 if i substitute this value of a here a minus b equal to 1 so i got b is equal to 24 b is equal to 24 so i got the other two numbers if c is given to you number one number is given to you number seven the other two numbers are 25 and 24 so 25 24 and 7 group of three numbers 25 24 and given number seven they form a pythagorean triplet you can put it as the sides of a right angled triangle hypotenuse 25 one side 24 and other side 7 so they form they satisfy pythagoras theorem so this is the method of finding the pythagorean triplet when one side is given and the given side is odd number suppose the given number is a even number for example let us take 8 the given number is 8 how to find out the pythagorean triplets when the given number is an even number so here you have this formula suppose the given number is equal to 8 number given is equal to 8 8 is an even number so we will take c square is equal to 2 into a plus b that is 8 square 8 square is 64 is equal to 2 into a plus b and 2 is equal to a minus b now i can cut this 2 and 64 how many times 32 times so i can rewrite it as a plus b is equal to 34 and a minus b is equal to 2 when i add it i'll get 2a is equal to 36 so a is equal to 18 once i got a is equal to 18 then if i substitute it here then i will get what b so b is equal to 16 a is equal to 18 18 minus 16 is equal to 2 so b is equal to 16 so i can find out a is equal to so sorry i made a mistake here it is 32 and this will be 34 so this is 17 and this is 15 32 instead of 32 i have taken 34 here so a plus b will be equal to 32 a minus b is equal to 2 so 2a is equal to 34 so a is equal to 17 and b is equal to 
15. So I got A and B, 17 and 15. So if the given number is 8, then 8, 15, 17. This group of three numbers will satisfy Pythagorean theorem. So Pythagoras theorem and that is why they are known as Pythagorean triplet. So we have seen how to find the Pythagorean triplets if the given number is odd as well as the given number is even. We have two different formula. Accordingly, you have to use if the given number is even, which formula you have to use. If the given number is odd, which formula you have to use. You have a clear idea now. So take more and more numbers and practice. Okay, we'll meet again. Bye-bye.